Now that we've taken a look at customizing the layout, the next thing we're going to do is insert text and images. So to get started, first thing we need to do is click on the pencil in the top right corner that says Edit Page. And as you may recall, I changed this to a two column layout in the previous customizing layout video. All right, so for the digital portfolio that we're setting up, I want a picture here with a brief few sentences, couple of short paragraphs, whatever you need to do um, about who this digital portfolio is for, which is Emily Rodriguez. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna either type out what I wanna write, but in my case, I planned ahead, so I already have it written, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. I do encourage um, people to plan ahead. Maybe you know you can't get to a computer right then, or you don't want to mess with it right off the bat. Just get out a pencil paper, get a word processing program, and just type out kind of what you want to say on the site. And then um, we can copy and paste it and edit it as needed. It always takes, for me at least, two to three, if not more, drafts before before I get it right. So. Uh, encourage you guys to do the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste. You guys can do what you need to do to get it in there. Remember, Control C is the shortcut for copy, and Control V is the shortcut for paste. Okay, one thing I want to talk about is contrast. I have a black font. Whoops, Control Z is undo. Let me try that again. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Okay, this is black font on a dark purpley background, purplish, and it's actually not ideal. So to fix the contrast, we're going to make the text white. The text color option up here is on the toolbar uh, with the A with the underline on it. If I hover my mouse over it, it says text color. Now, this only shows when you're in edit mode. You know you're in edit mode when the pencil that you click to get in edit mode is not an option up here in the top right corner. So I'm going to choose my text color drop down and I'm going to choose one of these whites right here. And that changed my text to white. Great. Uh, notice you also have other options if you want to change the size of it, if you want to change it to a different font. I will say that this font, this font, and normal. If you notice, they're all sans serif fonts, meaning that they don't have the little feet at the bottom. Like if I zoom in on that N right there, it's going to have a little foot on the bottom. Same thing for that R, the I. Sans serif fonts tend to work better on digital devices. So it's not to say you can't ever use like the Georgia and the Courier New and, and serif fonts, but maybe just limit those to titles or subtitles or not a lot of text. Uh, those typically tend to be a little bit better for print. All right, I'm going to leave mine at normal, and I'll leave mine at 12 point. That's fine. Uh, bold, italicized, underline are also options, as well as a text background color. Let's just say I put a text background color of some crazy hot pink color here. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. Not good. Okay, uh, undo is right here. Also my friend. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then if you need to link something, like... Um, I don't know why you would link that, but just click link, and it says you can link it to an existing page, a web address, an app script. We're not going to worry about this right now, so I'm going to click cancel. Uh, I can do a numbered list, a bulleted list. I can, in my list, increase the indent, decrease the indent, and then align left, center, right. Um, remove formatting, and then HTML source. This is a little more advanced, so we're not going to work with that quite yet. Okay. So that's how you add text. Uh, if you want to just come in here and type in here, this is an example of adding text. All right, and then highlight and delete. So a lot like your typical word processor. Um, you know, don't don't need a whole lot of choices here. If I click formatting, I just want you to know you can get a few extra um, choices for your text. Okay. Inserting images, pretty easy as well. Now, I'm going to insert mine up here at the top, and you're going to see why in just a second. So, insert, image. Lovely. Okay. Uploaded images, upload an image, choose file. Okay, so Google owns Picasso, 
and they like for your pictures to be like in Picasa or with their Google stuff uh, when they are tied into Google products. So we need to upload it uh, to get that. So I'm going to choose choose file and I am in a folder called for my digital portfolio. I do recommend that on your computer you create a special place for all your pictures and information that you're going to use for your site. Just keep it all together. If you were doing a an actual website, say in a, a software such as um, Dreamweaver, you would have what we call a root folder and your root folder has all your stuff in it and it, the website works when everything's in the root folder and matched or uh, linked correctly. So we're gonna, gonna follow, follow that principle here and keep everything together. So for this one, I'm gonna get Emily's picture of me, which is not actually of me, it's of her. She named these. So I'm gonna click open. And it uploaded alt text optional. Alternate text is great for screen readers. Most people probably don't know what that is, but in some instances, people who for whatever reason can't read or see a website normally may have a, an assistive device, like a piece of technology that helps them to get the most from the website. So in some cases, there are programs and, and technology that helps to read the website. So in order for the screen reader to read the picture, I need to have some kind of text associated with it to describe the picture to whomever is viewing the site. So for this one, I'm going to put Emily G. You can go into more detail. I'm just going to say Emily G. You may have noticed this before too if you've hovered your mouse over a picture uh, in another website and like a little box pops up and it says, you know, what the picture's of. That's alternate text. So I'm going to click OK, Ooh, and there it is right there. Um, so it's a little big, and I get this bar that pops up here with a little toolbox with other options. So a line left, center, right, so center and right. Notice it's staying within my first column. If I had made this one column layout, it would be all the way over here. SML, small, medium, large. Let's click small. Yes. And I'm going to put it back over here. Okay. Um, original. The original size is here. Don't want that. Go back to small. Just so you know, here's medium. Here's large. Here's original. Small. And wrap on, wrap off. <laughs> wrap on, wrap off. That reminds me of a movie. Okay. So I'm going to click um, wrap on and let's see what that does. Haha. <laughs> Love it. And I'm going to not remove the picture. I'm just going to click off of it to get it. So wrap on obviously wraps the words around the picture. That's one way to insert a picture. Here's another way to insert a picture. Insert Picasso photo. Like I said, Google and Picasso, one in the same. All right. Um, so notice that that picture already uploaded to Picasso. So I can choose upload photos here choose file and I know that I'm going to be using all of these photos so I'm going to try this I don't know if it's going to work I'm holding down the control key nope doesn't like it so I'm going to need to upload all of these photos because I'm going to use all of them for the site so we'll start with Erica with grandma and grandpa Erica's Eric, Emily's sister and I'm going to choose open and upload so here is a picture of Erica this is Emily Grace's sister and these are their grandparents. I uh, don't want to put this in here quite yet, so I'm going to click remove. And now it's gone. Notice we can also do a Picasso web slideshow. We are going to definitely do this because it's really cool, but we're not going to do it quite yet. We're going to do this a little bit later on. Um, so check out a later video tutorial for this one right here. So that's how you add text and images. Click Save.